FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another redstone tutorial in this video I'll be showing you how to build a TNT cannon that could shoot up to and or sometimes more 100 blocks so let's go ahead and test this out really fast and then I'll show you a few other cool things about this thing so I am in survival right now so I'll show you that you won't take any damage of course if you're like right underneath it I wouldn't go right underneath it when it explodes but when we click this button this should go at least 100 blocks over so boom shoot the TNT off and this should go at least 100 blocks so let's see yep it hit the 100 block mark absolutely fine right down here and of course if you want to the cool thing about this one is the less tnt you add the shorter it will go so if i want to put in three pieces of tnt i believe that goes about 40 blocks i'm pretty sure that's 40 blocks so when it goes up boom it should go about 40 blocks so let's see and yep i was right it goes about 40 blocks and then of course you know the more you add in but you know not go fully the more it will uh dumb down it'll just a tiny bit so this one should go about i believe 60 blocks i think it was 60 with five so boom and oh it actually went a little past 60 but there you guys have it there is the tnt cannon of course every time you fill it completely up it will always go 100 blocks or better it should always go 100 blocks or better or maybe 98 maybe 98 blocks i shouldn't say it it should always go 100 but oh wow that oh my wow that one went way past 110 i've never had that one happen before wow that went really far let me do that again i've never seen it go 110 blocks like that i have never ever seen that let's do that again that was crazy let's see that again wow that went at least 120 boom and yeah see it went about 100 blocks yet again it always hits the 100 mark but that wow that one was really going so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys all right guys so for this build you're going to need a seven by five spacing and you're also going to have to dig down four now the resources you're going to need for this build are two sticky pistons one regular piston 11 redstone repeaters 23 redstone dust one redstone torch a button 10 slime blocks two pieces of sand one immovable object i'm going to be using a furnace you can also use obsidian if you'd like and then of course as much tnt as humanly possible all right guys so once you have gathered up all your resources and got your seven by five spacing and i also forgot to mention the red stained clay is exactly where our pistons are going to be going for our tnt launcher so if we come over here to the bottom right hand corner and count up three blocks one two three we're going to place a sticky piston here and then count over five blocks from this sticky piston so count on the sticky piston one two three four five and place your other sticky piston right here so we no longer need our sticky pistons at all there we go next up what i want you to do is break these two blocks in front of the sticky piston because the slime blocks will be going on top of our sticky pistons so take out your slime blocks and place one here for now and place one here for now as well there's going to be a total of nine right here but we just want to keep one right there just so we can put in all of the redstone so starting off with the redstone what i want you to do is take out your immovable object and place it right here next to your sticky piston and then face a repeater going into that immovable object on two ticks to light then we're going to place another repeater going this way on two ticks to light with a block in front of it and then connect these two repeaters together with some redstone next up we're going to come out two more pieces of redstone right here one two going towards this sticky piston and then going into the redstone that is closest to the sticky piston we're going to place a repeater like that on three ticks to light next up place a block behind the repeater and a block right next to it place two pieces of redstone dust here and then place a redstone torch right here this should make our sticky pistons extend out so if i send power right here they should retract and then extend really fast so click the button and boom retract and extend really fast that's what we wanted to do so boom retract and then extend just as fast next up what i want you to do is coming off of this block we're going to come up a block place a piece of redstone here and then we're going to place a piston facing upwards right here with two pieces of sand on top of it the only reason i put two here is just so you have a flush floor right here so you don't fall into a hole like this you don't have to add in the second one but it just makes it look better and then we're going to take out our other immovable object place another one right here and then going into the slime block we're going to place a repeater on two ticks delay so next up we're going to go ahead and place in our button so we're going to come right over here to this piece of redstone and place two blocks up right in front of it so one two place a piece of redstone right here and then we're going to take out our blocks of choice i'm going to be using smooth sandstone place our block of choice right here and place a button on top of it so when you click your button as you can see the redstone underneath comes on then we're going to take out blocks and literally wrap it around this entire thing until you reach this block right here so just wrap it around the entire area until you reach this piece of redstone right here then coming out of the block with our redstone we're going to take out our repeaters and place three repeaters going this way one two three and set them all to four ticks delay then we're going to place a block in front of this repeater and then do the same exact thing going this way place in three repeaters one two three and set them all to four ticks delay with a block in front of it then coming out of this block we're going to place a repeater going this way on one tick delay and then place a piece of redstone in front of it just like that and that should be our entire thing so when i click the button like this boom it will go around the entire thing and then set these off and then that's when it will launch it up into the air 
then right off of this slime block we're going to take out the rest of our slime blocks and just put a three by three spacing of slime blocks around the entire thing and that is it guys you are completely done so now all you have to do is take out your blocks of choice right here and we're going to go around this entire lip of our three by three slime blocks and then place redstone right along it so it activates all of our tnt so place blocks going around the entire thing go ahead and take out your redstone and place it around the entire area this is so it activates the tnt before it goes off there we go and then we can go ahead and fill in this area with our block of choice as well so there you guys have it that is the entire thing so now if we take out some tnt right here and place tnt right along the outer edges and then if you want to i like to place a block right in the middle just so no one accidentally places tnt there we're also going to place a piece of tnt right off of here click the button and that should go at least 100 blocks so boop and up and boom and it should at least send it about 100 blocks and oh that oh that one went almost 110 that one at least i'd say at least 108 blocks 108 or 107 that was pretty fantastic so let's go ahead and just do it one more time i want to do it at least one more time before we end the video off but you guys are completely done with this build so now we're going to go ahead and just do it one more time so boop and click our button and let's see will this one go way way further than 110 so boom and let's see how far this one went and this one went about 100 yeah that one went about 100 and there you guys have it that is how you build a tnt cannon that goes 100 and or more blocks if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys and three two one boom <laughs> peace